It's not easy, this business of exploration. It's not easy, but it's written into our collective DNA. This urge to risk everything to satisfy our craving for new frontiers. In centuries past, it was hunters and mountaineers, sailors and cartographers who pushed the limits of human knowledge. But today's torchbearers are NASA scientists and engineers. These modern-day explorers operate one of the most advanced machines ever built, the Curiosity Mars Rover, chasing worlds beyond our blue marble in a full embrace of the unknown. By typing on a keyboard in a room in California, we can talk to a rover that's rolling around on the surface of another planet, hundreds of millions of miles away. This is the leading edge of exploration, this dusty outpost. And every day, Curiosity and its team choreograph the pursuit of ancient stream beds and mysterious rock formations. It's the perfect combination of the human need to explore and the technological advances we've developed to make it all possible. The Curiosity rover is a fully equipped scientific laboratory packed to the brim with state-of-the-art instruments and an auto navigation system. With Curiosity as this extension of our earthbound senses, we can touch this new world. We can feel the soil crunch beneath the tire treads and feel the warmth of our sun through another planet's thin, rusty atmosphere. Curiosity is helping us learn incredible new things about this mysterious planet that is so similar, yet so different from our own. Scientists at Caltech are leading the charge. They're testing theories with instruments they've spent years, decades even, preparing for this mission, this very moment. By zapping rocks with the rover's onboard laser, the team is determining their elemental compositions. Since we know how similar rocks form on Earth, the Martian data is telling us that fresh water once flowed across the surface. Billions of years ago, you could have splashed through a creek as it flowed to the bottom of Gale Crater. What else was going on during Mars's busy past? For how long did Martian rivers tumble over rocks and flow into tranquil lakes? Is it possible that over billions of years of chemical reactions, microorganisms emerged. Even after all these years of Mars exploration, we're still learning new, basic things about how the planet works. For example, this rock, a solidified chunk of molten goo, it's fundamentally different from every other sample we've ever seen on Mars. It's more like volcanic rocks on Earth. Its composition teaches us about the torturous conditions deep inside the planet that formed it. Did life ever squirm through the moist soil? And could it still be in the subsurface today, feeding off chemical energy and insulated from the cold, dry, radiation-drenched surface? For the first time in the history of our species, we might just be able to answer these questions. And all of this is happening a world away, around the towering slopes of Mount Sharp. It's an 18,000-foot mountain whose layered rocks contain untold stories of the planet's early years. Like mountain climbers of the past, Curiosity Science Team has trained for decades for this ascent. The stories locked in this mountain they could change the way we think about the universe and our place in it. These are the stories that need to be told. No 
one knows exactly what will come of these explorations. But it's a pattern as old as humanity itself. And now, it's taking place a hundred million miles away as we spread our senses into the universe. We didn't just send a robot to Mars. We sent the most essential, most valuable, most human piece of ourselves. We sent our curiosity. <laughs>